Dear friends, welcome to Know Thyself YouTube channel. Good morning. Hope you are all staying safe and keeping well. I sincerely thank all of you who have subscribed to the channel and follow the channel. If you find the contents of the videos uploaded in this channel useful, please subscribe to this channel and click the notification or the bell icon so that you can be notified when a video is uploaded. Kindly share the videos with others around the internet. In this episode of Sunday Reflection segment, we present the homily for the third Sunday of Easter based on the liturgical readings of the B cycle. The liturgical readings of the third Sunday of Easter dwell on the theme being witnesses of Jesus resurrection. Ripley's Believe It or Not is an American franchise founded by Robert Ripley, which presents news about events and happenings that are strange and unusual to readers and listeners. One of the episodes of Ripley's Believe It or Not reported a true story about a judge in Yugoslavia who had an unfortunate accident. He was electrocuted when he reached up to turn on the light while standing in the bathtub. His wife found him lying on the bathroom floor. With the help of friends and the police, she took him to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. His body was taken to the funeral home. Since he was a judge well known in the town, the local radio picked up the story and broadcast it. The whole townspeople were sad about the death of the judge. In the middle of the night, the judge regained consciousness. When he realized where he was, he walked up to alert the night watchman who ran off terrified. He thought of his wife and wanted to reassure her. So he called his wife and told her that he was alive. It was he who was calling her, but she screamed in fear and fainted. He called a few of his neighbors, but they thought it was some sort of a prank. Then he tried to visit a few of friends' homes. All of them, thinking that he was a ghost, slammed the doors in his face. Finally, he was able to call a friend in the next town who hadn't heard of his death. This friend was able to convince his family and other friends that he really was alive. Just as the judge was trying to convince everyone that he was alive, today's gospel speaks of Jesus convincing his disciples that he wasn't a ghost. He dispelled their doubts and their fears by showing them his hands and his feet. He invited them to touch him and see that he was real. And he even ate a piece of cooked fish with them, all to prove that he was alive and not a ghost. He stood there before them as real and alive as he had been over the past three years. The readings of the third Sunday of Easter speak about Jesus as risen from the dead and invite us to believe in him, obtain his forgiveness by genuine conversion, and bear witness to him by living the new life of grace Jesus has offered us by his death and resurrection. The first reading presents the second of the five homilies of St. Peter narrated in the Acts of the Apostles, which he preached at the portico of Solomon in the temple of Jerusalem. In this sermon, St. Peter describes how God sent his son Jesus as the Messiah to save the world, how Jewish leaders handed him over to the Romans to crucify him, how Jesus was raised from the dead, and how Jesus fulfilled in his life all the messianic prophecies of the Old Testament. St. Peter concludes the sermon by saying, Repent therefore and be converted, that your sins may be wiped away, thus calling not only the Jews of his time, but also each of us to believe in Jesus' resurrection, accept him as the Lord, and bear witness to him by a life of continuous conversion and by living the new life of grace Jesus offers. In the second reading, St. John in his first letter, addressing those persons who denied Jesus' divine and human natures in his one personhood, proclaims that Jesus, though God, was truly human, 
who offered himself on the cross as an expiation for our sins. Thus, Jesus' death on the cross was a sacrifice that made up for our sins, made Jesus the source of our sanctifications. Besides, Jesus remaining our advocate when we encounter the harsh reality of our sins. Hence, Jesus by his self-sacrificing death offered us an opportunity for our conversion and the forgiveness of sins. Therefore, St. John advises Christians to believe in the risen Lord, to convert themselves, to approach Jesus for the forgiveness of their sins, to live true Christian lives by obeying God's commandments, thereby become true witnesses of the resurrected Lord. In the Gospel, St. Luke describes Jesus appearing to his apostles on Easter Day evening after he had appeared to the two disciples on their way to Emmaus. During this apparition, Jesus removes apostles' doubt about his resurrection by inviting them to touch him and by eating with them. Though Jesus was not with them in his physical body, he was present with them as the resurrected Lord with a glorified body and soul, particularly in the breaking of the bread. He also explains to them that his death and resurrection fit God's purpose and plan, and it took place to fulfill nearly 324 Old Testament messianic prophecies regarding him. Finally, Jesus wanted the apostles to be the authentic witnesses to the reality of his life as the risen Lord with his glorified soul and body. So Jesus commissions them to bear witness to him by preaching that the Son of God was crucified and died on the cross for the expiation of sins of the world, that he rose from the dead and conquered death, that all must repent of their sins and obtain forgiveness in his name. They are to follow the mandate of this commissioning only after they receive the Holy Spirit. So they must remain in Jerusalem and pray for the coming of the Holy Spirit. On this third Sunday of Easter, the readings and the liturgy invite us, firstly, to live a life of continuous conversion. This implies that we uproot all that is evil and sinful in us on a regular basis, that we open ourselves to the grace of the resurrected Lord that is available to us particularly in the sacraments of reconciliation and the Eucharist, that we live a life of holiness marked by genuine love of God and neighbor. Secondly, the liturgy today calls us to be open to the new life of grace Jesus merited by his death and resurrection. Easter season is the season of resurrection and new life of grace. We must believe in the resurrected Lord and the new life of grace Jesus merited for us. By living a life of continuous conversion, and by being rooted in Jesus the resurrected Lord by our faith in him, we must make the new life of grace he merited by his death and resurrection our own, thereby live our Christian lives as the resurrected people. Finally, the liturgy today calls us to bear witness to Jesus the risen Lord. By our life of continuous conversion, by professing our faith in the risen Lord, by being rooted in him and in the manner we live the new life of grace Christ merited for us, we become true witnesses to the risen Lord. Concretely, this implies that we work for the eradication of evil in our life and those of others, particularly by living the commandment of love of God and neighbor every possible way thereby proclaim that Jesus is our resurrected Lord. As we enter the third week of Easter, let us ask the Lord to live the new life of grace by a life of continuous conversion and eradication of evil in our life and that of others, thereby become true witnesses to the risen Lord in the context of our everyday life. Amen. Thank you for watching this video. Stay blessed until we see you again with another video.